The Christian Association of Nigeria can and the Catholic Archdiocese of Kaduna State want Nigerians to extend hands of love to the poor and the vulnerable people in the society, as well as victims of recent attacks in the state. The duo stated this in their Christmas messages as a reflect on the significance of the festive season. They lamented the incessant killings and attacks on innocent citizens, noting that several families have been displaced by bandits. That many people in Nigeria cannot sleep with their two eyes closed. The case of Kogoro is a pronounced one because we've just buried the dead of our over 30,000 people. But in so many parts of Nigeria today, people can still not sleep. People cannot travel freely. The fact of all is that many people have not traveled this Christmas because they are scared what will happen on the road. How will they? In the, in the mix of these pens, God is telling us that pens shouldn't stop us from extending the hand of love to somebody. I think that's the message we're saying. Our pens shouldn't stop us from extending love to somebody. And I'm calling on those who care that our brothers and sisters in Kagura, our brothers and sisters in places where attacks have happened in Sangha and other places in Kaduna, the best we can do to celebrate this season is to extend a hand of love. It is the duty of the government to secure Nigerians. They, they, I, mean, I, I mean, the tents in the bush in the, is not their home. Nigerians should be pe to, to, to be with. This is a, a, a period of celebration. They should be with their families and celebrate. Four years ago, he's still in captivity. I don't, I don't know where he is. Hmm? Yes, Father for, for, for John Bako. He was the first piece of archdiocese to, of Kaduna to be kidnapped on 25th of March 19, uh, uh, 2019. He's still in captivity. We don't know whether he's alive or dead. Of course, apart from the three that have been killed, apart from the one that was just Abraham that was just uh, released uh, uh, about nearly two weeks ago. But then he was released and his brother was taken, the brother who went to pay the ransom. You know, he was, he, I mean, he was taken. And therefore, what else? If your duty is to secure everybody, and your people are in, 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 in captivity. What else? Also speaking on the forthcoming general elections, the clerics challenged Nigerians to brace for their civic responsibility at the polls. As we prepare for the 2023 general elections, I appeal to governments at all levels to create the enabling environment for citizens to exercise their civic rights and duties for the realization of the governance, which is the rightful aspiration of every nation. Similarly, I appeal to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to do all within its powers to ensure that the forthcoming general elections are conducted in a free and fair atmosphere that enables all eligible citizens to exercise their franchise. My message to Nigerian is that we should be hopeful uh, despite the challenges, and especially this is, our, this is the Christmas we will celebrate, and in a few weeks after Christmas, probably let's say in seven weeks, we'll be going to the pool for election. Let's be hopeful. Let's be hopeful. Let's be hopeful. Let's know that God is about to do something in Nigeria. See, I'm not scared at all, despite all we are seeing happening. You know, the enemy will want to discourage us from being hopeful, but let's be hopeful. Christmas brings about hope. And this spirit of hope should rekindle in our minds to know that God will visit this country not in a distant time from now and will transform things. But people must be ready to play their own role. And what's their own role? When it is time for us to go out and vote, come out, cast your vote, and let the will of people prevail. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.